Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for May 12, 2023, the Pigs Win Edition. We begin with that story from Reuters as the U.S. Supreme Court preserved a California law requiring humane pig confinement for pork sold in the state of California. This was a really interesting um, legal ruling based upon the Commerce Clause. And I think it may open the door for a lot of different uh, rulings um, that were maybe unintended from this. But the state of California can regulate the sale of pork in its state, and now it can regulate those who sell pork into California. Uh, Next up from the uh, New York Times, a House Republican report finds no evidence of wrongdoing by President Biden. After four months of investigation, the House uh, Republicans, who promised to unearth evidence of wrongdoing by President Biden, acknowledged on Wednesday that there was no evidence against him, and they have not uncovered any incriminating material about him. At a much-publicized news conference, uh, leading Republicans uh, claimed that it was only because uh, it was hidden or they weren't able to get to it. But if you investigate something for that long and you're Congress, particularly in a committee run by idiot Jim Jordan, and you find nothing, well, there's probably nothing there. Uh, Next up from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, Richard Vandeford reporting that the U.S. is training Ukrainian law enforcement on crypto investigations in a bid to target financial networks used by sanctions Russian oligarchs. Ukrainian investigators are getting advanced in-person training Um, from the Internal Revenue Services Criminal Division. The division is an investigatory arm of the U.S. federal government, and the partnership is meant to bolster Ukrainian work um, around cyber, and that uh, this will certainly benefit Ukraine, but also help damage Russian interests in this area as well. And our final story also comes to us from the Wall Street Journal, It reports that Brazil has opened a federal investigation into match-fixing. The probe follows allegations that 16 players accepted bribes to commit fouls and concede penalties in 2022 and even in this year, 2023. Brazil launched a wide-ranging federal investigation into, into this. The investigation has already led several clubs to preemptively suspend uh, several players um, who received yellow cards or committed fouls leading to penalties uh, shots for their opponents. So when the beautiful game uh, gets uh, allegations of match fixing, you know things are deeply in trouble in Brazil. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.